hello all welcome back so in this our playlist mastering with github action we are here with one more video so in this video we are talking about very important component of a github action workflow that is a runner so we'll see what is a runners in github action why we need runner what are different types of runners and what are the limitations of each type of a runners we have okay so let's see and for see what is a runner in github action so you can see my screen so runners are the machine that execute jobs in a github action workflow so now first thing we already seen on our couple of videos what is a github action workflow that is like set of jobs job is set of steps we have steps is nothing but we have uh, some commands which can be executed on the machines but where this workflow will run where these all commands will be executing so these are executing on the runners so suppose we have terraform codes which we are using to deploy application or deploy infrastructure on a google cloud or a aws cloud so whenever we are using github action where these terraform commands terraform init plan and apply will execute so this will execute on a runner so all github jobs will execute on runners so just say example of jenkins so you will create or you always host your jenkins and you create executor for your jenkins so either it is on the same machines or you can create on a different machines so these executors will be used for your Jenkins jobs to execute similar way so github actions is like inbuilt in github but still we need runners to execute this github action workflow and jobs so there are two types of github action runner so that we'll see so first understand this flow whenever user is creating any event so event can be something which is used to trigger our workflow so event can be a push to any branch it can be opening a pull request or any activity that will trigger our workflow that we call as a event so once this event will happen it will trigger our workflow so there are a multiple workflows it can be single workflow within a repository so just say example we have workflow one and workflow two in our github repository so it will trigger and we can mention which kind of runner we want in our yaml file so if we mention it runs on ubuntu latest it will pick ubuntu runner and it will execute all our jobs in that runner so it will check out our repository it will pull code to the local and then it will execute a command so in case of terraform it will pull all code from repository to local and then it will execute a terraform commands to execute our workflow so that is how a runner works but so there are two types of runner first is like github hosted runner and second self hosted runner so in simple term what is github hosted runner so by default which we are using in our workflow are github hosted runner so these runners are nothing but virtual machine provided by github and we don't need to manage anything for github hosted runner we have to just mention which kind of os we need for our runner in our yaml file we can use self hosted runner as well so suppose we don't want our code to be executed in a github environment we want it to be executed in let's say example in my cloud environment i can create self hosted runner in my google cloud virtual machine or a gk cluster so i can set up my own runner so both of these having their own limitation pros and cons so first we'll see about github hosted runners so you can see github hosted runner is a virtual machine hosted by github with runner application and other tools pre-installed on the system so it is available with ubuntu linux windows and mac os so one thing to remember here github hosts their vms for this runner in azure data center so at the back end they are using azure you can find this documentation find this uh, like details in github documentation and for mac os they are using their private cloud okay so they are hosting their vms in that environment so when we use a github hosted runner machine maintenance upgrade and all security things security patches are taken care by github itself we don't need to manage anything we don't need to manage any infrastructure for a github hosted runner so it will receive automatic update for os for all packages all tools so github will take care of all patching and upgrade for that github hosted runners so basically we just have to provide name of the runner nothing else we have to do for this github hosted runners so these are managed and maintained by github so it provide like clean instance for every job execution whenever our trigger flow will trigger it will create a new virtual machine and it will execute our code and then it will clean all the files and then it will terminate virtual machine so that happens at the background whenever we are using a github hosted runner 
so if we are using like it provide like free for all public repository and for private repository as well they have given some free minutes so what is this limits usage limit so we can see in a next slide so first we'll talk about what are self-hosted runners now now these self-hosted runners are nothing but the runners or the virtual machines we manage to execute our jobs in our workflow so there are simple steps github provide to install their runner application we have to install that application in our vm and we have to connect our runners to the repository so whenever our jobs triggers we have to also we have to mention in yaml file okay so we are we are we are running our code if we are running in github hosted or running our self hosted if it is self hosted we have to mention details about the runner so we'll talk in detail how to create self hosted runner and how to use self hosted runner in our further videos so this video just we are talking about what is our runners and what are the different types of runner what is difference between self hosted and github hosted runners so there are some advantages with self hosted runner that you can manage your own infrastructure you can manage your own vm but also there is overhead that you have to take care of all the patches and vulnerability security all the things by yourself only the upgrade will be provided for a github action runner application only okay so there is like you are responsible for the cost how much machines you are using how much runners you are using so you are responsible for all the things so that is what the different types of runners and the difference between github hosted and self hosted so by default till now we are using the github hosted runners in further videos we'll see how we can create self hosted runner on google cloud virtual machines okay now let's see in our workflow how we can use this uh, github hosted runner first okay so i'm in my uh, github action repository so let me open any workflow okay so let me just open uh, the first workflow we created that is demo workflow in our uh, very uh, first video so we'll open that and let's see how we can use uh, runners how we can mention runners in our yaml file so here you can see where we munch mentioned runners so here you can see the type of runners line number 21 uh, runs on ubuntu latest okay go to actions and here you can see runners at the bottom click on runners and you can see here github hosted runners and a zero available runners here so let's let it refresh and now you can see one available runners so when we trigger our job it will execute on the standard github hosted runner ready to use managed by github okay now we are using our ubuntu latest so suppose if you want to use any other so here you can copy ubuntu latest copy windows latest so if i copy window latest it copied to our keyboard and we can copy as a windows latest so it will just give the runner name we can copy either ubuntu windows or mac os so there is also a large github hosted runner but we are not needed it now we are using the standard github hosted runners and that the same things we are using in our all workflow so we have not created any self hosted runner yet but we'll create our own self hosted runner in a, our a next video so now we'll talk about some limitations for both the github hosted runners and self hosted runners so first talk about some usage limit for github hosted runners and why we should use a self hosted runner so you can see the job execution time so each job in workflow can run up to six hours of execution time if a job reaches a limit a job is terminated and fails to complete so this is not for workflow within the workflow each job has limit till six hours if it is going beyond six hours then it will fail that is one limitation similarly for a self-hosted runner if we are using self-hosted this limit is up to five days so you can see the difference on github hosted you can run it only for six hours but for github hosted or for self-hosted that limit is five days workflow runtime each workflow run is limited to 35 days same in, say, in case of self hosted runner as well api request 1000 for both github hosted as well as self hosted concurrent job limit we can see in concurrent job limit is 
20 concurrent job only for github hosted runner self hosted you can scale your uh, what we can see you can scale your uh, runner based on your uh, requirement so you can see the job matrix can generate 256 job per workflow and all the limits and usage limit have mentioned here so you can see for different get plan what are the concurrent job limit for free plan it is 220 for pro it is 40 and for mac os it is different because it is hosted differently on a github hosted runners so these are some limitation for a github hosted runners and if your jobs are too long running these are heavy jobs then you can use a self hosted runners it is always better to use self hosted runner for uh, enterprise version or if you are having your like the data uh, guidelines you have to protect your data you have to keep your all logs and all the data within your environment then you can use a self hosted runner but you have to manage your own runners so there are pros and cons for both of the runner so that's it for this video and in next video we'll see how we can create a self hosted runner in google cloud virtual machines okay so we'll see you in a next video so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again on next video